hello and welcome back to the podcast once again yes this is the season where we are asking ourselves the question who is jesus and as simple as that question sounds it has been it has been interesting learning about all the important things all the interesting amazing things that jesus is as a person so before we go into the into the podcast let's just say a word of prayer lord we say that you should please come into our midst like i don't know whether the person listening to me right now is listening through a loudspeaker through their phones through their earpiece or whatever it is but i pray in the name of jesus that you would minister unto them like like as if you were sitting down right beside them talking to them in jesus name let them not hear the voice and the words of a man but let them hear your words and teach us yourself in the name of jesus we say thank you daddy in jesus name we have prayed amen okay so on this episode we are going to be asking ourselves again that same question who exactly is jesus and we are continuing from the book of matthew chapter 4 and last episode we stopped at verse 11 and i really hope that you've been able to read matthew chapter 4 verse 1 to 11 today we will be considering from verse 12 to the end of chapter 4 that is verse 25 and very quickly we won't be reading the text but we'll be highlighting remember we are in the talking stage with jesus right so we are trying to understand who exactly is jesus by the very words that this person called jesus who is the savior of the entire universe we want to understand him by the very words that he spoke to us or to other people or as we saw in the last episode to somebody called the devil now what can we learn from is very words that is the context of what our discussion is all about and i want us to go into today's discussion today jesus began to preach and it's it's quite interesting what what happened jesus heard that they had captured john a wicked ruler had taken john that is the same john that we saw in the i think the first episode right yes a wicked ruler called Herod had taken john into captivity and had killed him i don't know if he had killed him at this point but he had taken him captive he had he had taken him in chains and jesus heard that so he withdrew to another town and as he withdrew to another town he began to preach and the words of jesus that we see firstly in today's episode is that jesus said repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand simple just repent repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand that was what jesus was preaching now i I want to ask a question what does this tell us about jesus why would he be preaching repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand okay 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 let's go on what what else did he say and then we see in verse 18 it says that jesus was walking by the sea of galilee and he saw two brethren simon called peter and andrew his brother they were casting their net into the sea and they were fishers so jesus said follow me and i will make you fishers of men and immediately they left their nets they left their boats they left their parents and they followed jesus so those were the two words that jesus spoke or let me say two sentences that jesus spoke into this text now let's look at them a little bit more carefully the first one he said repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand do you remember john's baptism do you remember what the bible said about john's baptism he said that john's baptism was a baptism unto repentance and then john told them that the person that is coming after me will baptize you with the holy ghost and with fire but still jesus went to john to be baptized that same baptism of repentance because he I, I want to believe that because jesus knew that this was where this was the starting point for all men if you have not yet confessed your sins and repented of them i don't know i don't know if you started i don't think so because you have to repent that's what jesus came preaching here again so he said repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand and what does this show us about jesus jesus cared a lot at least if you hear somebody going around and saying 
I'm a Nigerian, right? I live in Nigeria. If you hear somebody going around saying, Nigeria will be great. Nigeria will be great. You guys should change because Nigeria will be great. Nigeria will be great. You will be like, wow, this person is a very patriotic person, right? That's the same thing with Jesus here. Jesus was saying, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. That means two things. Number one, it means that Jesus cared deeply about the kingdom of heaven. Number two, Jesus cared deeply about the people that he was speaking to. And we will make an highlight of this very soon. He cared deeply about the kingdom of heaven and he cared deeply about the people he was speaking to. That is why he would say repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Jesus is not telling you to repent so that he can have more church members. Jesus is telling you to repent so that you can share in the life that he has given unto us by his blood. That is why we preach the gospel. We are not preaching the gospel so that we can have more people in church. We are preaching the gospel because the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And woe to him that is not saved when the time comes. Repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. That is the first thing that Jesus said in today's episode. And then next, he now said, Follow me and I will make you fishers of men. What a promise. These guys were already fishermen. (laughs) literally they were already fishermen but jesus had a proposition for them he told them follow me and i will teach you how to fish for men you know recently i was asking myself lord i don't know if i know how to evangelize like you have to teach me and as i was meditating on this text it was it was just clear to me like just follow me and i will make you fishers of men i will give you what to say when you need to say it Jesus was a leader, like from his words right here, you can tell already that he was and is a leader. So we see two things, Jesus cared deeply about the kingdom, Jesus cared deeply about people and then Jesus is and was a leader for him to have called people and for them to have followed him, ha, he is a leader. Now, before we end the episode today, I would like to highlight something else. I would like to read the the concluding parts of the chapter, chapter 4. It says, And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing all manner of sickness and all manner of diseases among the people. Now, I want you to listen carefully to what comes next. It says, And his fame went throughout all Syria, and they brought unto him all sick people that were taken with diverse diseases and torments and those that were possessed with devils and those were, that were lunatic and those that were that had the palsy and he healed them all there's a version of the bible that puts it as they brought people who were in pain who were in deep pain to jesus and jesus healed them all what pain are you in I don't know, I, it just came to me. What pain are, are you in? Is it physical? Is it emotional? Is it spiritual? What pain are you in? We have such a high priest, Jesus, that is not untouched by the feelings of our infirmities. I mean, Jesus was moved to tears when he was at the grave of Lazarus. Jesus cares deeply about you. What pain are you in? He can heal you. He can heal you. What pain are you in? bring it to him bring it to him so we have heard of jesus today we have seen him speak to us and now we have come and we have said that we will carry our pain and we'll drop it at his feet so after this episode i want you to this is i want you to just bring your pain and put it at the feet of jesus thank you jesus for the opportunity to do this episode and to listen to your word we are grateful help us to live out your word In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Bye.